Hi, today I have a smaller video about nonlinear hinges on beams in Steel Engineer. My name is Ivan Beleš and I am support engineer for Steel Engineer and Idea Statica. I got this question uh, one or two weeks ago from a customer. Um, she had a member, 1D member, and the support allows deformation of some angle and then it will be fixed. So let's look at it. Uh, what could it be? For example, you have a wall and in this wall you put one member and if we look at the deformation then it could can go so. so that means we have some angle where the support uh, creates no resistance and after this angle the support is fixed this is a nonlinear calculation why uh, let's imagine some simple example. This is a member which have two supports. It's a simple member with two fixed supports. And we have this hinge. I try to draw it <laughs> like, like a small star. Um, so this hinge allows some deformations. And uh, let's create some diagram horizontal vertical line horizontal we have the angle this is deformation and this is this angle let's say this is phi and we have some limit value which was given from the customer and um, it was not the phi directly I got tangents phi limit value is 0 0.0018 in these small angles uh, if we work with tangents or the angle it doesn't matter so what happened with the so this is not phi we have on the horizontal line we have load we have on this member we put some distributed load with the name q this is my load q and on the vertical line, I have the rotation of the support. Until some limit value, it acts like a hinge. That means my angle will linearly increase with the load. After I reach this angle, then uh, if I increase the load the angle will stay at this value 0 0.0018 so then we will have this diagram if we do it on the another side with a bending moment on the end for example on the end we get some bending moment m y1 for example what happened until this value phi limit we have no resistance uh, i can draw it with this this color for zinc, for example so we have no resistance and after we reach this value and we increase the load then also this bending moment will act because from this uh, moment we have a fixed support something like this and this is nonlinear relation between the load and the results if we would have linear rela relation then we, go we would get some linear line. This is a linear system. But we have a nonlinear system, so we have to calculate a nonlinear calculation. A good engineer has to know the results before he starts with the calculation on computer. So let's check what we get for results. We have some simple beam with this special hinge. So this gets some deformation phi. We have load with the name Q. If somebody knows these things, please skip it and go to the input in C engineer. Later I will explain the input in C engineer. Uh, we have some length L. 
uh, our beam is H E A 300 and the moment of inertia is 1.83 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meter to the power of 4. And then we have also the material which is 210,000 megapascal for steel and the length is 6, 6 meters and uh, the load we will calculate. So we have this value tangens phi or phi is 0 0.0018. Uh, what we know for this phi, if we calculate this phi, this is 1 to 24 times Q times L cubed divided by E I. And from this we can extract the Q. The Q is phi times 24 times E I divided by L cubed and if we calculate it with the calculator we get 7.69 kilonewton per meter. This is our limit load for our system where the system will switch will switch from a simple supported beam with hinges to the beam supported with rigid support on both ends. Let's say we use our Q, this is Q for example a limit value, our Q is 10 kN per meter. What happened? For all loads below this 7.69 7 we have simple support, but for the load which is between 7.69 and 10 we get fixed supports. So this is 2.31 kilonewton and from this 2.39 kilonewtons we have such system for this for for loads which are smaller than uh, this 7.69 we have a simply supported member and this member gets some results this will be the bending moment and this bending moment is 1 point through 12 uh, ql uh, cubed and this is uh, 6.94 kilonewton meter. So this will be our, uh, let's say, bending moment on the left side, which we can check later. Let's go in C engineer, but not before we go in C engineer, what should we input in C engineer? We need to input a nonlinear hinge, so a relation between rotation and bending moment. This is bending moment and this is rotation. We have some limit value which is our 0 0.0018. So for all rotation below these values we have no bending moment. So we have hinge for all angles below 0 0.0018 and from this value the angle cannot increase only the bending moment will increase so this is our this is our hinge minus 0 0 18 which we have to input in C engineer and that's our goal let's go in C engineer so I have created very small example is a 2d to make it very simple uh, you need a fixed uh, supports because if you create a hinge and then uh, it's a fixed fixed uh, hinge and behind the hinge is uh, another hinge then it cannot create a resistance so therefore you need a fixed support length is 6 meter is the HAE EA uh, 300 from steel we have a load of 10 kN per meter so let's look at the project settings, what we need? We need nonlinear calculation, so there is nothing uh, activated, so we need nonlinear calculation and from this nonlinearity we, we need beam local nonlinearity, that's everything. It's not a second order calculation, it's nonlinear but this is only physical nonlinearity, not geometrical nonlinearity. Okay, then to the model, we have to input some hinges, you find it, you find it here, so it's inputted. 
uh, rigid, rigid, the deformation in XY in, in uh, around the uh, Y axis, we need a nonlinear calculation. And there is some stiffness. This is the linear stiffness because we have a nonlinear hinge, but, but we will also perform a linear analysis also. And for this linear analysis, we need some value, some information. How should this hinge act? So let's say it has no resistance for linear calculation. Uh, you have to be careful. Sometimes it's better you start with higher value of the stiffness and then during the iterations it will be weaker and weaker. Sometimes if you have deformations and the deformation is uh, the, the resistance is zero or the stiffness, then it goes through the hinge, you get really high results. Uh, maybe also instability, and then the software have to go back to to the to your curve which you have inputted in the nonlinear hinge. So therefore, sometimes a better little bit higher value. Let's say we start with 10 mega newton per uh, radian. So and our hinge will be. So I will create a new hinge, which have a rotation of minus zero 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 eighteen for zero resistance and then we go to the right side to zero zero eighteen also without resistance and from this point we go vertical so and this is my hinge that's everything no we can no so we need we have load but for this calculation for nonlinear calculation we need nonlinear combinations so go to the combinations Nonlinear combinations. I have only one load case, so don't waste the time uh, with the nonlinear combinations. And we can start the calculation. I think that's everything what we need. Linear, nonlinear calculation. It's good that it comes. It is not allowed in the nonlinear hinges that you have some horizontal or vertical line. And there is also one, this is one uh hinge which was already there and all these hinges have some not correct values so i will delete them and i have only my so this is null nonlinear hinge okay so you cannot create vertical and horizontal line if you have two points then you have to create some small difference in the bending moment or if it is horizontal then uh, so in if it's horizontal then in bending moment if it's vertical then in the deformation rotation uh, or or movement then it will work it's okay that uh, i got this message because you will get it also okay then we have the results and uh, we have oh we have our results and we should get 6.94 kilonewton meter uh, bending moment in the support let's check the internal forces from nonlinear combination and we will look at the bending moment and i want to see the local extreme values f5 6.93 and we should get 6.94 okay small list small small um uh, difference results 1d members 1d member deformations and if we look at the rotation phi from load case so if we go to the load case then it's fixed probably because uh, i have created a higher um, linear stiffness in the node but we can look at our combination of non-linear combination the phi f5 and you see 1.8 milliradian. Go to the local results. Local per section, for example, F5. So 1.8 was our limit value for our deformation. So, so that's all for the simple system. I hope it was okay for you and you learned something. Thank you very much.